Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. In the previous lesson, we saw how we could use the filter function to filter data based on logic. And we use the plus operator to do an or logical filter. So we were filtering for all students that sat the maths exam or achieved a grade of C. So now let's take a look at using the asterisk operator. Because effectively, when we use that, we're doing an and logical formula. So, for example, I might want to filter for all students that sat the French exam and achieved a grade of D. And this works pretty much in exactly the same way. We're just changing the operator. So let's jump into cell H4 and type in equals filter. The first thing we need to choose is the array. So we want to return everything, the student, the exam, the grade, and the date. So we need to select all of the information in the table. Remember, control, shift, down arrow to select everything. Comma. What do we want to include? Well, we're going to include two pieces of criteria again, and each piece of criteria needs to go in brackets. So the first thing that we're filtering for are all students that sat the French exam. So we need to select the exam range, control, shift, down arrow. That needs to equal whatever we have in cell F4. Let's close the bracket. Now we want to apply our asterisk operator because we want to say and, and then we can specify our second piece of criteria. So our second piece of criteria is the grade. So we want to select the grade range, control, shift, down arrow, and that needs to equal what we have in cell F12. We can then close the bracket. Now, the final thing to specify here is what we want it to display if it doesn't find any records. So again, we're going to say no records and put that in quote marks. We're going to close off our filter, hit enter, and take a look at that. Immediately, I know that we have no students that sat the French exam and achieved a grade of D. So what about if we start changing some of these things? So let's go for grade E. Now I can see three students who sat the French exam who achieved the grade of E. What about if I change the exam to maths? We have one student who got an E. Now, remember, if you want this table to dynamically update, you need to make sure that your original data is in a table itself. Now, currently, my data isn't in a table. How can I tell that? Well, when I click inside the data, if we take a look at the ribbons at the top, I don't get my table contextual ribbons. When you're clicked inside a table, you will see a table design ribbon at the top. So let's press Control T and put this data in a table. Yes, my table has headers. Let's click on OK. And once again, I'm going to change this to no specific format. Now, if I was to go and add a name onto the end here, my filter isn't going to update because I'm currently using a very specific cell range A4 to D41. So I would need to really redefine my arguments for this particular formula. So let's delete it out. And I'm going to give my table a name. So on the table design tab, let's call this, we'll just call it students. Now, if we then do our filter again, our array is the entire table. And notice now it's picked up the name of the table as opposed to the cell range. Then we specify what we want to include. So let's open our bracket. We're going to select the exam range, and that needs to equal what we have in cell F4. Close the bracket. We're doing an and, so we want an asterisk in here, and then we can specify our second piece of criteria. So that is going to be the grade, control shift down arrow, and that needs to equal whatever we have in cell F12. Let's close off our criteria. Let's specify what we want it to say if it doesn't find any records and then close off our filter. And if we hit enter, we get the same result. 
Now the difference here is that if I go and add another student to the end of this table, I should find that my filter formula updates. So I'm going to add another student that sat the maths exam and achieved a grade of E. Currently, we only have one result. I would expect this to change as soon as we add somebody else. So I'm just going to add my name to the bottom here. And maths, we want a grade E. And let's just say the 8th, 2022. So if we scroll back up now, you can see that that's automatically added that to my results. So once again, I hope you're taking note of the importance of putting your data into an Excel table if you want everything to dynamically update. This video is part of our complete set of courses for Excel 2021 and Excel 365. To take a look at our courses, click over there. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. And to see more Excel videos, click over there.